In today's video, I'm going to show you how to wash your soft tools so that you can keep using them for a while and you don't have to keep replacing them. Now, I like to use this little silicone bowl that I got, and I just got this at Walmart. This was the Danielle Creations one, and it's actually a makeup brush cleaning mat, but I use it for my pan pastels and my watercolor brushes or any brushes that I'm using. And it's pretty cool because it'll stay flat like this, or if you pop it down, it's a little bit deeper, so you can get in there with your brushes and clean them out really nicely. And also, this is a silicone mat, so it's really soft and gentle, so it's not going to hurt your brushes or your pastel tools. And then the other thing that I use is this Speedball Pink Soap. Now, this is a brush cleaner, but I found it works really well for cleaning the soft tools as well. So I'm just going to fill the bottom of this with a little bit of water. Now, because I'm only cleaning two tools today, I don't need a whole lot of water in here. And then I'm just going to take the pink soap and I just squirt a little bit of it in the water there. You really don't need much at all. And then I'll start with the big tool here. So on the side where I've used the pastel, I just kind of dip it into that pink soap. And then all I do is just start rubbing it on the little uh, silicone areas here. And as you can see, it just cleans it off right away. And now this is stained green from before because I've been using this tool for quite a while. And as you can see, it just cleans it so nicely. So what I do once I get all of the pastel off of it here, I will go and take it under the sink and rinse it out really well to get all the soap out. And I'll show you afterwards. But I'm going to go ahead and clean this one as well. Now for the stick tools here that I have, I like to leave it on the tool itself. And I just keep my finger on the back of it here so it doesn't slip off. And again, I just gently rub this on these little areas and for these soft tools I try to concentrate it down here in these smaller areas because they're a little bit more gentle and it will get all that pastel off now again this has already been stained from being used a few times And once I think I've gotten all the pastel off, then I'm going to go ahead and rinse these out. And I just dump this out and rinse it in the sink as well. So I'm going to do that and I will come back and show you when I'm done. And you can see all the pastel residue that's left in this bowl here. So it really does clean really well. Okay, so now that these are rinsed out thoroughly well, and all I do is just rinse this off. I'll put it in the palm of my hand with some water and just make sure all the soap's out of them. And again, this one I rinse really well and I will squeeze it out just to make sure there's no soap in there. And once I'm done rinsing them out, I'll just go ahead and make sure that no more pastel is coming off of it. And then I know it is clean and ready to dry. And same with this one. I'm just gonna check both sides. And as you can see, some colors are more staining than others. So this was the side where I had the pink and the blue, but obviously this green is more staining. So that color ended up sticking on this tool, but it doesn't mean that it can't be reused because as you can see, it is nice and clean. So I let them dry for about a day after I've cleaned them like this, and then they're good to be put back into the container with the rest of my soft tools, or I can go ahead and start using them again on the project. Now these ones will dry a little bit quicker, um, but still I like to leave them as long as possible to dry. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified when I post more videos, and thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye!